what's up Aries I'm infinite star heart welcome back to my channel I hope you all are well if you're new welcome and thank you for being here if this reading helps you in any way please feel free to like share and subscribe that way you will be notified each time I upload a new reading also I am doing a two free question reading giveaway for two winners that I'll be picking each month the way to enter for those of you that are interested is to like this video, subscribe, and comment enter. You must be a subscriber and you must comment enter to be eligible for the two free question reading giveaway. Alright Aries, we are in the final month of the 2020 calendar year before closing out this cycle and heading into a new one. We are still in Sagittarius season, but Capricorn season is just right around the corner. I'll be doing your December 2020 monthly reading for all of my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node signs. Our moon is currently in the sign of Aquarius and then heading into the sign of Pisces, Aries, um, then Taurus, Gemini, and Cancer before we close out this month. All right, we just had a new moon and a sign of Sag and we had a solar eclipse at the same time. That solar eclipse is going to provoke changes that's going to be external to us all. These changes is going to be positive and for the better. We're going to be encouraged to embrace these changes as we're going to be tested during these times. The effects of these eclipses can last anywhere up to six months. So try to be creative or do something that inspires you and puts you in alignment towards your goals. All right. Also, this eclipse is going to highlight what gives meaning in your life and what makes you feel safe. Okay. So just don't be afraid to be who you are. Also, just trust your inner values and try to handle situations in a um, in a balanced way and take a more logical approach over your emotions. Okay. All right, Aries, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in and see what messages our spirit guides, angels, ancestors, and God has for us from now until the, until the end of December. Please note that these readings are general, so only apply the messages that resonate and leave the rest. You may also check your other signs as those readings may resonate with you check your venus sun moon and rising signs all right aries your card is the great gathering it's all coming together intuitive hits soul tribe all right so aries you may have some spirit guides around you already okay these may be like earth angels that are surrounding you that are help guiding you um sort of you know just helping push you in the right direction here okay you may be intuitive you may be needing to pay attention to any downloads yeah you have the priestess all right this is the high priest energy how are you being called to step up and lead okay so you may be a leader already a role model of some sort okay this can also you be you just being a healer a teacher um, you could be a reader as well but I feel like you're being called to take the lead to step up with something whether this is you taking the lead in in a position or starting your own business where you can be the leader or the boss you know all right we're gonna also pull some crystals for you like I said we did just have a solar eclipse we have the winter solstice that's coming up in a few days. All right, we'll also have a new moon that'll be here within a few weeks. 
So you may want to get these crystals to help you during these times to help recharge your energy, clear your energy and space. Okay. All right. So your first crystal is carnelian. Beautiful. It's a bright orange color crystal there. Who needs it? The understimulated. Anybody looking to get acquainted with their fears. Hello, fear. My name is, and say your name. We have some beautiful work to do together. Now shut the F up and let's do this. <laughs> Where to put it? Wherever you want to inject some passion and confidence, i.e. your palate or your pelvis. When to use it? When you find your creativity or sex drive on sleep mode. Uh-oh. All right, so um, who is this? Aries? Aries, this crystal is used to help you go with your gut, okay? It's called carnelian that's what it looks like all right so some of you all may be feeling like um, you're lacking in your creativity and this can be you know sexually as well maybe you're just getting bored in the bedroom you know who knows anyway get this crystal to help recharge your energy carnelian all right Aries <laughs> let's get you another one Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. What crystals would be good for my Aries? Alright. Ooh, another orange, yellow looking crystal. This is Honey Calcite. Honey Calcite, that's what it looks like. Kind of yellowish. Who needs it? Anyone with a job to do? The brilliant but lazy, any Taurus. Uh-oh. So you may have Taurus in your chart. Where to put it? Instead of banging your forehead repeatedly on your desk, try a gentle kiss of honey calcite there instead. When to use it? When the barriers to abundance feel too big to power through. When it's time to stop waiting your turn and stop waiting until tomorrow. Picture yourself triumphant on the other side of whatever stands in your way and call on honey calcite to kick in the door. So yes, this crystal is used to help you break through your limits, help you push through those barriers, anything you may feel like is holding you back. All right, this is going to give you that, that extra boost, that push up energy that you're going to need. To get you to your breakthrough okay some of you all may have been having this stagnant energy and feeling like oh you know just I'll wait you know just lazy energy I don't know about um, you know Taurus I don't think Tauruses are lazy or anything um, things come easy with Taurus I feel like Okay, and at the bottom, I don't know how to how to pronounce this, so I'm just letting you know before I screw it up. But it's called rhodochrosite. Rhodochrosite. <laughs> That's what it looks like. A very soft pink looking. Who needs it? Anyone grieving or really needing to grieve a major loss, a relationship expired, or an outdated idea of self? Where to put it? Against your chest while you breathe through your heart or slide a favorite piece into your bra, you know, if you're wearing one. <laughs> when to use it? When your heart hurts, you can feel all the feels, even the most painful, and still be gentle with yourself. Let Rhodochrosite and you, especially you, absolutely, oh, my bad. Let Rhodochrosite remind you that this too shall pass and you, especially you, absolutely will heal and love again when you're ready. Absolutely. All right, so this crystal, Rhodochrosite, <laughs> this is used to help you soften your heart. Um... I feel like too this this helps with healing 
if you're grieving a loss or, you know, a loved one, a romantic partner, anything of the sort, this can be with work or just with yourself, you, you don't feel like yourself, um, that's because you may be needing to change up how you are viewing things, how you're seeing things, okay, you may be needing to do some things differently. All right, but this is going to help you soften your heart. Maybe you've been closed off and just kind of guarded. You know, this is going to help you open up and have compassion for people and things. Even yourself, you know, to have compassion for yourself. It's okay that, you know, we go through things. And, you know, we may experience some setback, some delay, some loss, you know, whether this is materially or physically, you know, with someone, all right, but we are here, you know, as guys and your spirit guys is, is with you as well, guiding you, you know, they are, are definitely surrounding you, um, you may be feeling their presence during this time as well, okay, but these crystals are recommended. These are going to help align you to your wholeness. Okay, so those crystals again, roto, rotocrosite. I'm, <laughs> excuse me, I'm not able to say that word correctly. Then you have honey calcite. That's what that looked like again. And I will have the names of these crystals listed in the description box below. Okay, for those of you that um, may want to try to get these. Carnelian was the other crystal. That's what it looked like there. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and get some messages out here. See what energies are showing up for you for the month from now until the end of December. For my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. At the bottom you have strength you could be dealing with a leo strength and grace through kindness self-confidence and forgiveness okay so you may be trying to find the strength and courage possibly to offer something stable committed and solid with the knight of ariel here underneath that Okay, this is um, Earth energy here. You could be dealing with, um, we did have, who was that, Taurus that showed up? Okay, but the thing about the night, you know, it can be slow coming in. All right, it may take a little while. All right, so let's see. You have the Three of Michael. Release the past. You will grow from the situation. Time heals all wounds. I want to say who just... Someone had the Three of Swords. I believe it was the very first card that came out in their reading too. Um, who was that? I think it was Pisces or Virgo. Okay, you have the Two of Cups, the Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here. Two hearts dedicated to creating something wonderful. Kindred spirits, don't give up on those you love. Okay, so there could have been some disappointment. A heartbreak, a betrayal. Okay, you have the queen of Gariel. Beautiful. This is someone who is confident, passionate, and charming. Um, independent and brilliant. You can do anything right now. Go after what you want. The ability to attract helpful people. Okay, so this can be your energy here, Aries. Looking very beautiful. Um, you're feeling confident. Maybe confident within yourself. Okay, you have justice. Hello. Fight for justice and equality. Rulings made in your favor. Don't give up. Yes, absolutely. I feel like 
you're going to receive justice within a situation. The skills are going to balance for you. And this can deal with someone from the past that you were dealing with. With this two of cups energy, this can be a soulmate. Okay, it doesn't have to be romantic. This can be a family member, um, friends as well. Okay, let's get one more. You have the seven of Raphael, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Time to make a decision. Be clear on what you want and take action. A need for detoxification as well. Okay, so you may have several options to look at regarding something. This can be you being confused as well. Needing to detox. Oh, okay. At the bottom, you have the Eight of Raphael, the Eight of Cups energy. There is something better waiting for you. Do what you know is right for you. This is a spiritual quest, okay? So, something that may look confusing and that you may be unsure of right now is actually going to be promising for you. <clears throat> But I don't feel you know this shit. Okay, you have the moon. All right, the opportunity to improve your plans. Listen to your intuition for accurate guidance. Face your fears and grow stronger. So yeah, have that courage. Having the courage to face your fears and to put yourself out there. Um, possibly... This can be someone reaching out with an offer with the Ace of Pentacles, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. This can be new resources of money, time, or support. This can be a change in a job or a promotion as well. Okay. All right, so... Moving on with something, moving towards something better. This can also be an invite. Somebody might want to see you. Someone that you haven't heard from. Yeah. Someone that you haven't spoken to or heard from in a while this could be a family member okay at the bottom you have masculine all right so this can be like that older figure father figure your divine masculine your twin or soulmate seeking you so this can be for my feminines, a masculine is thinking of you from the past. Okay, someone I feel like that know that they betrayed you, they hurt you. Someone that you cared for. Okay, yeah, you have stuck. Block, third party, silence barrier. Shift your focus to clear the energy. Okay, yeah, so you haven't spoken to this person. You can have them blocked on social media, phone, on on anything, whatever the case may be. And then you have vibration, energy and positivity. Raise your vibration to attract what you desire. Okay, so regarding this person that you cared for, maybe you know that it was just time for you to just leave the situation where it was at. Okay, you focusing on yourself to get yourself in a better state, you know, regarding this betrayal or... Um, heartbreak here Queen of Pentacles or Queen of Gabriel you have crossroads okay divergent paths choices confusion follow your intuition okay so not knowing which direction you should choose needing to make a decision here 
as well. Be confident in your decision, Aries. Okay, follow your intuition on it, but be confident in the choice that you, you're having to make. Also, this can be um, more, this is, this can be disappointment due to gossip and rumors. Okay. And that could have been with that um, heartbreak, that betrayal, three of swords energy. Yeah, because you have control. Stagnation, delusion. Release the need to control situations. Okay, so someone could have been controlling or trying to control a situation here um, that you're going to receive justice for. Okay, this is you re also releasing the need to feel like you have to control situations and just surrendering. Surrendering to spirit, sur surrendering to, you know, the situation. You know, it is what it is. It's like two, you know, once you make a decision, once you make a decision here, there's no looking back. Okay, you also have nourish, self-care, nutrition, exercise. Your body is your temple. Okay, so somebody may... Someone could have been dealing with an illness here, okay? But Nourish talks about you starting to try to eat better, okay? Trying to live a healthier lifestyle. Like I said, this uh, the Seven of Cups does talks about needing to detox. So, you know, there may be some things. that aren't good for you that's that's actually quite harmful that you are putting into your body okay so you may be trying to eat more healthier eat more greens and and fruits put more things of, of that into your body okay all right but you do have destruction and chaser okay um tower moment unexpected change new opportunities okay so something you possibly didn't see coming regarding a situation all right like I said for some of you you have someone coming back from the past this person wasn't consistent they weren't in your life with that chaser they're in and out of your life um for some of you, I'm feeling this could be a father figure, okay? At the bottom, you do have appreciate. Today, I am grateful. Your twin appreciates you. See the blessings. Practice appreciation. So, yeah, this is you being grateful for a situation. Being grateful that, you know, you listen to your intuition you know that there was something better. You know, it's like you know you don't deserve this type of energy, this type of treatment, whatever it is from this person. If they were being controlling, um, they could have been, you know, toxic to you in some form of fashion and you had to separate yourself from them. Okay. But with this appreciate in divine timing, okay, things are transforming for you at a cellular cellular level okay this is spiritual upgrades and receiving those downloads um you could be dealing with a scorpio but you also have a winner here someone may be feeling left out in the cold more um uh, earth energy Okay, but be be grateful. Be grateful for where you are now, Aries, because I feel like you see how things could have gone. You see how things could have been different. You know, 
but you know it's okay everything was being done in your life uh, in divine timing so maybe you felt like you know a particular person wasn't in your life or um, you know they weren't stable or whatever the case may be you're going to receive justice things that's going to balance back out for you okay all right, so what, let's, yeah. I'm going to clarify. All right, Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. You have the four pinnacles as the underlying energy, okay? So holding back, holding back resources, time, energy. Um, also, this is you watching how you spin, okay? This can also be someone holding back from you. Okay, you have the star very first card here somebody is hoping that they can heal a situation with you is what I'm getting automatically you could be dealing with an Aquarius but this is like I said someone hoping praying you know that a situation can heal with you this can also be a wish come true for that to happen as well Okay, the Empress. Wow. Taurus energy. You may have Taurus in your chart. Okay, but um, this is you being a nurturer, a mother as well. Um, you creating the life that you want. You may have something new that you are working on or trying to create. Others of you, this is, this can be. That you or someone around you is expecting. You got the nine of pentacles here. All right. So you may be single off to yourself. But this is also you enjoying your own company. Okay. You are happy with everything that you have at the present moment. This is also you creating the life that you want. Okay, yeah, you have a Six of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, this can be you feeling like a child in a situation where this person is trying to be controlling. Okay, um, others of you... You're, this is how you're remembering and maybe someone else knows this is how they were you know being very controlling um, as well let's see it can be someone that you've known for a while Okay, well, you have the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. Hmm. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You, Aries, Leo, or Sag. Alright, somebody is ready to move forward with something. Maybe they've um, stalled with bringing you something committed or solid, something
this is someone I feel like, you know, they know that you've been through a lot. You also have the seven of wands here. They see that you're guarded. Okay. Um, you're defending your beliefs. This person may see you as being defensive as well. All right. But you have the eight of pentacles. Okay. This is you just working on yourself, getting better, mastering your skills, okay? Practice makes perfect here. All right, at the bottom, you do have the page of wands, okay? So this can be a message, an invite of some sort. Okay, somebody is ready Okay, you also have the hermit underneath that. Pausing to reflect on the situation. Maybe some of you realize that, you know, you had a snake or something, you know, close by or around you. And the high priestess and the nine of wands, <clears throat> nine of wands underneath that. Something in it due to someone, you know, trying, having other options. This can be... You know, this person having a lot going on. All right, so let's go ahead and pull some love oracles. And see what this is. All right, at the bottom, you have passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Okay. <laughs> My bad, you guys. <laughs> okay, you have made the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Okay, so yeah, like I said, someone is ready to make this offer, to try to heal things. They're wanting to come towards you and make an offer. Okay, maybe they feel um, they're not sure if you're wanting to see them. Mm, you have free yourself. Wow. It's time to take back control of your life. Absolutely. So you have freeing yourself from this person, from this energy of having you feeling, um, I, what I'm getting for some of you, this energy, this, you feeling heartbroken and betrayed by this person has actually kept.